Yeah, just one second. What's your first reaction? Uh, yeah, I mean, we had uh, obviously disappointed to lose the jersey by uh, six seconds. Uh, but to be honest, I think we couldn't have done so much more. I think we rode pretty uh, smart with, we, we're not, we don't have a team here to ride for a GC. We said that when we came here, that's not our goal. Um, obviously you come in the jersey, you want to protect it. And I think we approached today pretty smart. Um, so yeah, it was on the legs in the end. And uh, yeah, that's how it is. What was the plan today? Um, for us, plan was to come into, into Bologna in a good position, keep Roman as calm as possible. We knew that we would be given control in the start and we wanted to let the brake go because then there's a chance when they're not racing for the stage, it's not as aggressive in the front. Obviously, when there's a stage win on the line, it's more aggressive from the peloton. So we wanted to try and give the breakaway the chance to race for the stage. Obviously, if other teams decide different, then that's fair. Um, and then, yeah, do as good as possible in the final. Did it surprise you that the big GC teams didn't chase for the stage victory? Um, no, not really. That's why we also thought we could have a chance if we went for that tactic. You know, it's still only day two. They would also look to us to make that responsibility. Um, so we thought there would be a chance that they wouldn't. We knew they'd be automatically stressed before the hard climbs. So then there'd be a push and the time gap had come down every time. Um, but yeah, I think it played out a little bit how I expected. Yesterday, three jerseys. Today, they are last, but it's still um, normally we wouldn't talk about this like losing three jerseys in one day. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we when you come to the start of the Tour de France and you said to me on uh, Friday, yeah, you get three jerseys on Saturday and you lose them on Sunday. I say, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> um, and then we, but now we, you know, we came with our plan pretty clear. We go for day results. That's what we do. Tomorrow we have a, a sprint opportunity, um, and yeah, we keep fighting every day. How is it with uh, Fabio? Yeah, it's uh, again a tough opening weekend for the sprinters. Um, so yeah, he's uh, he's out on the road still, but he will uh, he will make it, and uh, we'll get him prepared for tomorrow. Yeah, what are your expectations for tomorrow? Uh, I think mainly for us, we want to come into the sprint. So we want to give Fabio the best possible opportunity to make a sprint. And then we'll see, uh, obviously he's had two hard days, so we'll be fatigued there. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll give it our best shot and see where we come. What was the plan today with uh, Bram Velt in the break? Uh, Bram, we, Bram was on one of the guys covering moves in the start because we thought maybe there's a big fight for the break. It's also better for us because we don't have to ride as long. Um, and Bram covered a move. And then it was kind of, we knew the move had no GC threat, but I also had a feeling that maybe they push on the climbs. So I said, okay, stay on the back of the brake. When you hit the climbs, drop slowly, get caught on the top of the second one, then we can use you in the valley. Whereas if we'd used him before, we didn't have a guy there. So that was, that was the story with that. Thank you. Matt, how has the 